Hey guys, it's Keyboard again. Uh, today we're going to be talking about like specific character analysis. Uh, this isn't going to be like the teamwork video. This is going to be specifically specific characters, uh, like main attributes, their special traits, and why you should pick them specifically for their own abilities, not in team order. Uh, also, this video is going to be in order from best to worst. So first we got the best character, which is Wickerbottom. She's extremely good at getting resources, can summon tentacles to help her kill bosses, put enemies to sleep she doesn't wish to fight, overcharge WX-78 for a very long time. She can summon tons of birds at once, which she can kill to get azure feathers, saffron feathers, morsels, Krampus sacks. On top of that, she can grow any plant instantly, which allows her to get even more food and resources. She just really opens up a ton more options for your team. Her downsides are that she hates food spoilage and that she can't sleep. Sleeping is a waste of time anyways, so I'd recommend against using that normally. And since she can create a ton of food anyways, it makes that downside pretty irrelevant. WX-78, when he is overcharged, which can be forced by a wicker bottom or a telelocator staff or even some mosslings, he runs 50% faster, he can be immune to freezing, and the first time he's struck by lightning will heal him. On top of this, his maximum stats can be boosted by eating gears. His maximum health goes up to 400. His maximum hunger is 200. His max sanity is 300. Oh my gosh, that number is insane. You will only lose a stat boost if you die, which is extremely hard to do if you have literally 400 health. He's also immune to foods rot, so they will always give him the fresh boosts in hunger, sanity, and health. And this pairs really well with Wickerbottom, because the spoiled food that she can't eat, WX-78 can just eat for no penalties. Rain hurts him, and you can counteract this by getting hit by lightning, which heals you to full health, or just using an umbrella. Wolfgang. He gets stronger and faster with a full belly, up to two times more damage, and up to 20% more speed. And since his health value changes dependent on hunger, it can be manipulated to make him heal two times as much and take up to 33% less damage. His maximum hunger and health is also very high, both being 300. His supposed downside is the fact that his sanity drains 10% faster, which is usually a good thing since you want to be insane for that nightmare fuel. His actual downside is his hunger drain being very fast, up to three times faster at maximum. Uh, this becomes pretty irrelevant though after a few days in because you can set up really big berry farms or lichen farms or just eat a bunch of cactus. This downside becomes extremely irrelevant if you have a wicker bottom because she can feed you super easily. Maxwell. He can split his mind into pieces. This allows him to make minions that will permanently assist him in gathering resources or fighting. This will take part of his maximum sanity and a few nightmare fuel along with a tool that corresponds to the minion type. The only way to lose them is if they die. He also has the benefit or disbenefit, depending on how you see it, of gaining 6.66 sanity a minute. This can benefit him by the fact that he can read Wickerbottom's books for basically no penalty, or it could be a bad thing by making it difficult to maintain that low sanity that you need to get Nightmare Fuel. His main downside, though, is that he is frail, and he only has 75 HP. Wigfrid. She is mighty and does 25% extra damage, has 25% damage resistance, and gains health and sanity from fighting. She also can make battle spear and helmet, which are very good intermediate gear. Her spear is not really that useful after only a few days, though, because the tentacle spite actually does more damage, and so does a hand bat or dark sword, which you can get super early on. Her helmet is still useful until about day 40 or 50. At that point, you're going to want to start using shadow armor, bone armor, thulicite crowns, shell mitts, or football helmets to conserve rocks, which, which become way too time consuming at this point. One small downside is that her stats are low. She has 200 HP maximum, which is pretty good, but 120 hunger maximum and 120 sanity maximum. Her main downside is that she can only eat meat, and this stops her from eating butterfly wings and blue mushrooms. Personally, a lot of people say Wigfrid is really good for new players. Personally though, I think that she teaches some bad ideas like tanking and stuff where you should be learning how to kite enemies. 
However, he's great for farming spiders and spelunking, and his best ability is that he can befriend spiders. This lets you do a lot of cool things, such as starting a spider war. He has 175 HP and hunger, which is a little higher than most characters. And although his maximum sanity is low, being only 100, he can grow a beard like Wilson, but it uh, insulates him a little bit less, and when shaved, it only gives you silk instead of beard hair. He can upgrade and craft spider eggs, and also spawns with a spider egg in his inventory. Monster Meat also has no downside for him when he eats it, which often leads to spider cannibalism. His main downside is that normally friendly mobs attack him. Bunny men, pig men, these can be easily avoided though, so he barely has a downside and has quite a few decent upsides. It's a lot of fun to group with like 10 different Webbers and just take over a world. Wilson, his upside is he grows a beard. This can be shaved for beard hair or used for insulation. He also regains a little bit of sanity when he does that. He has no downsides, but uh, his upsides aren't very good. There's some better characters you can play instead. And here's where we get to the really bad characters. Sorry, all you Wendy, Woody, uh, Wes, Willow Mains, all you poor guys. They are not that great. Let's talk about Wendy first. Her upside is that she can summon her sister Abigail to help her in battle. And this sounds pretty helpful, but it seems her sister is quite suicidal when summoned, as she will run straight into hordes of monsters she will surely die to. Her downsides are she does less damage and loses sanity slower. And losing sanity slower is considered by the devs not to be a bad thing, but it really is. Woody. His main upside is turning into a werebeaver. When his special stat beaverness goes below 25, he is able to carry items while in this form, can break rocks, trees, basically everything extremely fast. He does 27.2 damage, has night vision, and has 25% damage resistance in this form. He goes insane, insanely quickly too. He also can't pick up items while in this form. His special axe, Lucy, has infinite durability, chops down trees very quickly. The problem with this is you turn into a werebeaver very quickly if you do this. He also gains 5 sanity from planting pine cones, which is really annoying if you don't want sanity. And his beard gives him 45 insulation, which is, I guess, kind of helpful. And he has a loyalty time boost on his followers. Even with all these, like, slight perks, you still can't use them if you're dead from his werebeaver form changing so spontaneously, which really locks you down. Wes, he's the challenge character the devs made to just make your life hard. His maximum stats are low, his hunger is 113, HP is 113, sanity is 150. His hunger drains 25% faster than normal characters, and he does 3 quarters of the damage. He can make balloons that are little damage mines for monsters, and they cost 5 sanity to make, which are actually kind of useful because they help you keep insane if you want to. Definitely still not the worst character. And you poor Willow mains. Willow is the worst character in the game, hands down. Her main perk is resistance to fire damage, which sounds great, but uh, I can't remember the last time I took fire damage, like honestly. But let's say you want to play like crazy fire lady and want to just burn everything down, every forest. Let me tell you, that's not going to last very long because you need wood to get anywhere in this game. She can craft a lighter, which is basically a much longer durability, shorter light range torch. And she can also cook food on it. She also has her bear that she can craft, Bernie, which will take damage from shadow creatures for you. This sounds really cool on paper, but as demonstrated by John Watson's video, I'll link his video in the pinned comments and description, he comes out really useless. He becomes even more useless once you realize her downside is the fact that she freezes when insane. So she'll be freezing to death while trying to use this, not to mention he's expensive to make. And on top of all that, she has a low maximum sanity, being 120. All this makes her easily the worst character. What's this? It's me again! Uh, before we end the video, I just want to let you guys know, uh, I've started making my own videos. Uh, I'll be reading stories I find funny like stuff I find on 4chan or reddit. I'm definitely not Brent Daniel. I'm original man. Uh, if you want to hear more of my voice or something, you might want to check it out. The link is in the description below.
Uh, don't worry, this is the only video I'll be announcing this on. Shameless plug, over.